Hey YouTube, welcome back. Hey, today I'm gonna go uh in depth, full review about this uh brand new Motorola Motorola uh, Moto Z Play. This is the GSM. This is not the Verizon one. This is the GSM uh, World Phone, which is a uh, unlocked version and is compatible with all other GSM uh, out there. You know, cook it, net 10, H2O, simple, uh, mobile. And uh, this is the 5.5 5 inch, uh, 1080p by 1920 pixels. And it has a 16 uh, megapixel. The RAM is 3 gigabyte of RAM, lithium ion battery, which is uh, 3510 milliamp. Uh, this one is a single SIM, and it is a uh, nano. There's another version out there which is a uh, support a uh, dual SIM. The display on this one is a uh, super. Super AMOLED capacitive uh, touch screen, 16 uh, million colors. It is a uh, 5.5 inch 1080p operating system. It has a uh, preloaded Android operating system version 6.0.1 Marshmallow. The chipset is a Qualcomm. Snapdragon 625 MSM 8953 The CPU is active core 2.0 GHz Cortex dash A as in Apple 53 GPU is uh, Andrino 506 It, uh, it allows, allow you to uh, insert a micro SD card up to 256 GB this one is uh, 32 gigabyte in internal. So the camera, like I said, is 60 megapixel with the ap apertures uh, 2.0 face uh, detection and laser autofocus dual LED tone flash. 1.3 micro uh, pixel size uh, geo tagging, touch focus, face detection, panorama, HDR. And then the front facing camera is 5 megapixel with the ap aperture of f2.2, 1.4 micro m pixel size. It has a front LED flash and it also records a 1080p for the front facing camera. Then the wireless name is uh, Wi Fi ASIO 2.1.1. Uh, it support A band, B band, G band, and N band. It also support uh, Wi-Fi Direct and uh, Hotspot. This one does not support Wi-Fi uh, AC band. Bluetooth is a uh, version 4.0, and it has also support NFC radio. It says FM radio. You probably need to use a headset. And this is a type C reversible connector. <coughs> it also has a fingerprint sensor, accelerometer, gyro, proximity, and compass. This one is a non removable lithium ion uh, battery. Okay, before we go further, uh, I just want to uh, bring out this to your attention. Uh, this one, when you wave, it's not supposed to sense it, okay? Only when your hand is uh, close to the phone, then your clock and your uh, notification will show, okay? Only when your hand is about to reach the phone, okay? So, waving the sensor 
that is uh, incorrect. And this is the type C with the universal, I mean, reversible adapt, uh, charging uh, port right here. And the fingerprint sense, uh, sensor is pretty, it reads pretty fast. Uh, what's going on? <sighs> Why do I need to enable it? I don't get it. So like I say, it's uh, read the fingerprinting reader is uh, pretty pretty fast. It's faster than my uh, LG, and uh, I would say probably around like ninety five percent accurate. I put my uh, L LCD which is uh, pretty dim, I mean, turn out brighter, so you guys can see. So instead of the IPS uh, display, this one is a Super AMOLED, just like the Samsung uh, display, which is uh, very uh, vivid. So let's go ahead and go over through the uh, option real quick. So this is the setting. I download the iHeartRadio and then the Jetson Ride Radio. The YouTube come with it. I mean, come with preloaded. Calculator, calendar, camera, Chrome, clock, contact, device help, dock. And then the Dolphin, uh, I download that. And then you got your download. All, all of your download will be in here. And the, your Google Drive, uh, Google Earth, I download that. And I download uh, EES uh, File Explorer. Gmail, that's preloaded. And then Google is preloaded. Hangout is preloaded. Map is preloaded, Mass Messenger is preloaded, and then Moto, those are all preloaded, and Moto Mod, Phone, those are preloaded, and then uh, Photo, those are all preloaded. JSON is not preloaded, and then the setting, you got your Google Sheet, Google Slide, uh, Speed Test, I download that, and then a Street View, I download that. Translate, Google Translate is already preloaded and then a YouTube. So let's go ahead and do this uh, calculator real quick. So as you can see, this is your regular calculator. And when you swipe it to your left, you can see the scientific calculator uh, function. So if you tilted the uh, landscape, this is what you see, the full screen. So you, you don't need to do anything. Just punching whatever number you want or to calculate. Okay, and calendar, you guys know the calendar. So you can set this uh, either a week, month, three days, or go by day. So that's your calendar and then a camera. So you can turn on the auto flash. You can turn it on auto, right now it's on auto or you can turn it off. And then uh, there's a HDR, you can put on auto, turn it on or turn it off. And then over here is a timer. 
there's a three second or ten second timer and then this button is for the front uh, facing camera okay and then that's your shutter button and then uh, right here is a camera option you could go to uh, take video right here or panorama and right here is a setting you could do your uh, white balance or you could put on auto you can set your ISO and then your how bright you want make it brighter, I'm going to make it darker so you said that I get manual focus, you know, everything like that so white balance okay so those are the different settings that you can set it to for your uh, camera setting and then uh, if you want to record video you click over here And right here in the center, you got just the lightning, the light, darker, brighter, that your brightness. Okay, so let's move to the next. Well, you know your Google Chrome and then a the clock. Right here is your alarms. You set up uh, and add more alarms, and then that's your current uh, time. And then this is the I guess if you're uh, running like a lab, you could uh, set the timer. And you can keep on adding a lot of timer for different things so and then you can go up and down to go to your different timer and then I guess this is your stopwatch So if you're running a marathon, you can set like timer or, you know, if you have some kind of school function that doing some kind of race, that's for different labs, I guess. Okay, so you get hold it down to clear, I think, yeah. So you could get a different timer, I mean different stopwatch. And after that, you can press this uh, left icon right here, hold it down. And you got to pause it first and hold it down to clear it. So earlier I set the timer, now it's uh, beeping. So I press stop. So there's a, this is pretty good. You got different timer. If you're cooking something or if you are doing something, you want to put that lots of timer on here you can set it so I have another timer that's running it's gonna go off within that seven more seconds so okay so let's see you can hit the trash can to delete the timers and then contact you go to your contact and add more names to it or device help 
if you don't know what you're doing, you go over here and then you will guide you what you need to know or learn about about it. And they have a popular topic, set up phone, learn the basics, personalize your uh, phone apps, calls and contact, photo and videos, music, battery, security, storage, connection, upgrade or reset or fix a problem. And then this is your document, I guess your Google Doc. Or edit a Word document or any, anything like that. Uh, then whatever you download on your phone, this is where all the download will be at. And then your Google Drive. And then your Gmail, this is Google. And then you can use your Google Hangout to go chat online with all the your friends or family that has a Gmail account. And then uh, Google Map. And then if you want to use this uh, messenger, you know, you go ahead and click on it. And you can type in the name, phone number or email. So this uh, motto, which is uh, pretty good, it has all your uh, actions, your gesture as a phone show, because this is what I'm going to go over with you guys. Uh, approach for motto display. So like I say, if you uh, try to reach your hand and then uh, get the device to trigger motor display, this is what I show you at the beginning, and it is on. So y your hand has to be close to the Moto uh, Z Play for uh, closer to it in order to show the display. If not, uh, it's not going to show you the time and your notifications. So this is another thing is uh, chop twice for flashlight, which is pretty awesome. Let's say, for example, you're in the, in the darkness and then you need to get a fl uh, your flashlight turned on right away. All you do is tap twice and then the light come on. So as you can see, those are two LED, which is uh, pretty bright. And if you want to turn it off, you just uh, chop it again two times. So now it's off, okay? So that's a pretty awesome uh, features. Also another thing is uh, swipe to swing, shrink. I'm going to turn it on and test it for you guys to show you guys real quick. This is a pretty awesome uh, feature. I know this phone is kind of big, but for those uh, users with a smaller hand, uh, you could just go like this and then swipe it up. And then you can switch to I am left handed or I am right handed. So I am right handed. Oh, you gotta hit the below the button and then go up. So you gotta below those uh, three buttons. And then it will ask you if you wanna turn it on that feature or not. So I put no thanks for now, okay? So I'm just showing to you guys uh, how it works. So again, your you had to touch below the buttons at the bottom of the screen, and then swipe up naturally to string the screen, the size. So now it's easier for you to tap on instead of going all reach your finger or your thumb all the way up there, try to reach 
and uh, touch those apps. So let's go to another option. Is uh, this one is the do not disturb. If you are in a meeting or something and your phone accidentally uh, got a phone call, all you do is just uh, flip the phone down or turn the phone face down for do not disturb mode. Okay. So you just go like, put it like this, and then the uh, the phone will just automatically shut off to its uh, silent mode. So it won't disturb uh, during the meeting or conferencing or whatever. And you could also set a uh, pick up to stop ringing. So lift the phone to switch incoming call to vibrate. Okay. And another feature is uh, we already did that swipe to string and then uh, twist for quick capture. Okay, this is awesome uh, feature. In case you got into a car accident or anything, you want to take a quick photo or quick video. All you do is just a uh, twist, twist like that, and it automatically turns on your camera. Or you go to turn on your video right away to record an accident that just happened or whatever you know as an evident uh, that's a pretty awesome feature Let's see so we went through all those moto uh, features already and then uh, this is the moto mods so you just uh, if you want to go check it out, you can check out those uh, model models. They have a projector or JBL Sound Plus uh, speakers, and there's a extended uh, battery pack, and then a camera. And those uh, mod the camera costs around like two fifty or three hundred bucks, and the projector costs that much as well. Uh, so all this, you know what to do on those uh, other apps. So let's go to the setting real quick, which is pretty simple. You have Wi-Fi and then your Bluetooth. So you add whatever Bluetooth you want over here, and then uh, data usage. You show you whatever data you use uh, a month or however you want to set it. Um, and then click on more. Okay, this one uh, has uh, it support NFC, which is a uh, near field uh, communication. Okay, so if you put uh, another phone back to back when you view in a picture or anything like that, you could uh, copy your picture to another phone just without any wires, and then also on Android Beam. So, you, so yeah, it's, uh, so it's on. You gotta make sure you set that on. And this phone, it also support a uh, tethering and portable hotspot. This one uh, support a uh, hotspot. You can set up a Wi-Fi hotspot, so portable Wi-Fi hotspot, or a Bluetooth tethering, okay? And if you know to how to set a VPN for your own network, uh, you could just click on here plus and then enter like T-Mobile, Verizon or whatever and make sure you get all those uh, settings from the carrier and then set it correctly. And then uh, there's a cellular network. Uh, this is the one that if you want to uh, let's see, there's a data roaming or preferred network type, 4G or access uh, point name and network uh, operator, emergency broadcasts, uh, it's kind of hard to see, uh, so it's 
So it shows extended thread or show a severe thread or show amber alert, turn on notification, alert sound duration, alert and reminder, vibrate, speak alert message, or show ETWS test broadcast. There's also a setting for Brazil. Uh, display, you guys know what to do with the display. Uh, there's a brightness level, which is I said it high, I should say it lower because as you guys cannot really see that well. And then uh, adapted brightness, you can set it on or off. Color mode, select standard or vibrant. I like to, this is what uh, what's it look like standard or vibrant so I, I like the vibrant and then the wallpaper you can select a wallpaper from any of the from your photo or live wallpaper, wallpaper or google lunch now and sleep you can set like how long you want the phone to go to sleep 15 seconds 30 seconds 1 minute 2 minutes 5 minutes 10 minutes 30 minutes and then the uh, power press button twice for camera you can set it on if you want but i'm just going to leave it off daydream club so you can set the club color or photo leave it on the clock you can also set the font size so if you, you can use small uh, normal large or huge see what's going on with huge so this is huge large normal and then small let me leave it to normal and you can also uh, when device is rotate you can set the screen to stay in portrait mode or rotate the content of the screen and you could also cast to a nearby uh, de uh, devices where it found so let's see sound and notification media volume ringing volume you can set uh, also uh, vibrate for calls and this is the do not disturb uh, phone ring ringtone. Just once. So right here you can set a different tone. Okay, you know what? Let's see, and then you can set the default notification ringtone or other sound casting again when device is locked show notification or you get high sensitive notification content or do not show notification at all App notifications. So you go to uh, set each individual setting for those uh, apps. So that they do not disturb access uh, let's go to storage so this is a 32 gigabyte so far it's used 11.71 and then you can go to memory and memory used by app this is all the app and using all the memory You 
user, you can set a different user if you have guests, if you're going to allow them to make phone call or not. Uh, why did I switch it? Uh, user, daddy again. So if you add a user, there you go. You can add different user for your son or whoever your friend that you want to use. So they don't have access to all your apps and stuff like that. <laughs> Tap and play. I guess that's a play store and Mortal Mods again. You can set the location and security. So the fingerprint, you could have up to five finger, fingerprints set up, okay? You could also set your lock screen message. And if you want to install third party uh, apps, or you could click over here. But that might get attacked from my like, viruses or whatever, just in case. You gotta be careful. Install from SD card. Screen pinning. Ping. So this is uh, to you can screen pin whatever app that you want on uh, your screen. Location security account. Google. There's so much uh, settings, so... What about privacy? Privacy? What about ID? Day and time, accessible. This one, you can have your uh, device talk to you, okay? You can set it on if you want. Anyway, every time we touch a button, it will talk to you and stuff like that. Or talk back. Printing, you can set your uh, cloud print. Uh, you can add a service. You use whatever app that's called with your HP printer or Samsung printer or anything like that, or Canyon or Xerox. So you print this uh, wirelessly. And then legal information about phone. Anyway, I'm not going to go through all of those right now. But anyway, uh, I'm giving you the, this phone, the battery life is excellent. It lasts you a quite long time. Uh, I use moderate is about actually listen to music on and off about two or three days or four days. But I don't play a heavy game, so if you play heavy game, probably about, probably about a day and a half. And then I like uh, how this song is uh, pretty easy to change the mod, which is they use a magnet. Like, he, like I said, this one has a back cover. This is not wood, real wood, because when doing the cold weather, I can feel kind of cool. So this is not real wood. And see how the back, but unfortunately they have uh, those contact for the different mods, the contact point. So hopefully that doesn't get dirty too fast or too easy. But uh, with the back being uh, glass plate, I mean glass, is this pretty uh, fingerprint magnet, okay? As you can see, the smudges everywhere, but it's okay if you got you know in this one uh, the phone come with this uh, wood grain look uh, pl like uh, play which is uh, pretty nice and make the camera not uh, have a hump, which is uh, pretty easy to hold. And <clears throat> this is kind of heavy. 
It is a premium、uh, build, which is I like very much. But and then the fingerprint sensor is awesome. Everybody's talking about how fast it reads your fingerprint, and they are all correct. And you got your front、uh, LED flash right there, which is pretty good. If you want to take selfie at night time, compared to、uh, LG or、uh, Samsung, Sony, or some other brand, I'm I'm not sure why they are so behind. Even the Apple, they should have a front、uh, LED、uh, flash because、uh, a lot of people like to tell,、uh, take selfie pictures. So they should、uh, be able to take a picture at night time.、Uh, another thing is the speaker on this one is very awesome. The sound quality it does not sound cheap. It sound actually better than、uh, all the iPhones, and then、uh, better than my Samsung Note three and Note four and my LG V ten. Let me see if I can play a real quick song for you guys, real quick. CS. What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way. I will not surrender. I will do my best until I get put under. What if I go stronger? Okay, those are all my pros. Okay, and the con, the con is the on the edges right here, on both side. It is pretty sharp. Okay, just like the old Samsung、uh, S six. Like sometimes、uh, people complaining about the sharp edges. This is what you're gonna feel like. Same thing. Okay, it's almost like a blade. So, a certain area is pretty sharp, almost like it could cut you. But over here is、uh, not as sharp, but still. And then、uh, people are just、uh, complaining about the camera. It it doesn't not doesn't take、uh, as good as picture as、uh, Samsung、uh, S7 or S7 edges. Probably because of the aperture, instead of one point seven or one point nine, this is a two point zero. And what else? I think that's that's about all the cons that I have. Okay. So please、uh, give a thumbs up and like this video. I know this is a lengthy video, but there are so many informations to go over. So I had to end up recording、uh, two different videos because、uh, it's lengthy. Okay, so please、uh, be sure to share this with your friend or on social media. If they are looking at a great phone that has a long battery lifetime, you want to go with this phone. And then there's also another one with the Moto Z, which is a little bit higher end, but you're not going to get as、uh, good as battery as this one. This is the Moto Z Play. LG, Apple, Samsung, Huawei, Asus, ZTE. Sony, all the brands out there should、uh, 
catch up with this、uh, Moto Z Play. The light time, the battery light time on this unit is very awesome. So if you guys are hearing me out there, or the manufacturer should look into it, because a lot of user are、uh, switching to this phone because of the battery life. Okay, thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.